and how the industry is shaping and shit. Um, I want to touch on what uh, Charlemagne said about the, does Drake still run the industry or is this still Drake's era in the industry? Mm, okay. So uh, let me find a let me find a motherfucking find that nigga a Charlemagne. Woo-woo. I don't know about that nigga. Sometimes, sometimes let me find yeah. a motherfucking whoop whoop whoop. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that nigga. Sometimes I can't tell what he want. Would do he want creative? ownership if he want niggas to be good if he want niggas relationships and <laughs> and and hip hop to be over with I don't know what that, that nigga starting to look like academics to me <laughs> <laughs> so Higgy your man's let's see what your man's talking about man hey are you looking forward to Drake's new project no that nigga I, I you. Wait. that nigga right I, there <laughs> I, um well, for all the same reasons that we're, we're the, for all the same reasons we love Kendrick. Kendrick, uh, Kendrick makes us wait. Kendrick gives us something to look forward to. Kendrick, you know, takes his time. So if he wanted to drop Dark Lanes, like, what, you would be interested in this Lover Boy tape. I just don't know what what Drake has given us so much music that I don't know if he has another gear. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like we know, we know Kendrick has another gear. He shows us that with every project. Drake has given us so much. I don't know if he has another gear, so therefore I'm not looking forward to anything. Mm. Let me ask y'all a question: Are we still in the Drake era? Are is radio um, such 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 a prehistoric form of 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 medium? Is radio such a prehistoric form of media that it hasn't changed the temperature to what's actually going on out here in these streets? We in the little baby era. They still really, really love the Migos. It still feels like we're in a Drake era. I don't think we're in a Drake era. I don't think we've been in a Drake era for the past two, three years. And that's why I was going to ask my guys. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a, they just ramble on about that same shit, but he might oh, have a point. Don't. Even though he looks really fucking happy to... to <laughs> Yeah, he does. <laughs> to be around what Drake do for a nigga that don't really fuck with Drake like that. Bottle, show him that you and VIP. <laughs> the nigga, uh, they got a nigga cheesing hard as hell. <laughs> Thot, that nigga a thotty. That nigga, that nigga, <laughs> that nigga groupie to the certified lover boy. Niggas is wild, bro. But yeah, so he said a he said a lot in a little bit of time. He did. Um, the real is the real though. I'll say that. So the thing is, I don't think it's a Drake era no more. No, it but, ain't. It but, ain't. but, <laughs> but Drake is so solidified that he don't need an era no more. It's Snoop shit. It's like Snoop, nigga. Snoop. Yeah, he's so solidified. Way. He don't need. He don't need an era no more. When Drake drops, the world's gonna. The world is gonna listen. Yeah, it's. it's um, and we know that. We know that now. We, he he's he showed us that he has put it all together. Yeah. And the thing is, I don't know if Drake has another gear. I, I think like, his, does he have what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. But he never really, even when he switches up, he don't really switch up. This, that was this, that was Joe Button's whole like when they had their little situation. That was where that shit stemmed from because mm-hmm. that's all Joe was saying was like, yo. Nigga, switch switch it up a little bit. Like step it up a little bit. Like nigga, you doing the same motherfucking thing. What if it's not? This is and this is the thing. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's so many people. We say this. Who else hasn't switched their style up but has certified themselves as a legend in the game? Pusher. It might not be for different. It might not be for hits. It makes different. It It might not be for hits. Push I, haven't push heard, push, I haven't heard too many love songs from Push. Nah, not no love songs. Mm-hmm. So, oh, you mean switch it up as far as I, I mean music. I mean You mean switch wise. up the content. Yeah, Sonic, yeah, yeah. Like, sonically, Push it does different shit, though. Yeah, but to me, he don't. It's all dope boy music. <laughs> it's all dope boy music, but it don't all sound the same sonically. I, I, I look at it, and I look at it like this when I come to the Drake era. When I say the Drake era. We remember yeah, trust you, trust you don't sound shit like Exodus. Hey, look, hey, look, look. No, it does not. no, it does not. But who did he have on trust issues? 
Kevin Gates, nigga, who who found his pocket and he stays in it. Like these people. Yeah, that shit was a cheat code. Because yeah, Gates, no, no, Gates no, was no, going. No, <laughs> Gates no, was going regardless. No, we gonna make a love song for the ratchets and the hood bitches, and I'm gonna get the ratchet and hoodest nigga of them all to do the hook on this shit. <laughs> Give me a verse, nigga. We gonna talk about would you hide my dope bitch? Like, nigga, that's his love song. Like, nigga. So when I look at the Drake era, at mm-hmm. the end of that clip, you hear him say. It's not like he little baby. It's not like it's Migos. You think about yeah. both of those artists, right? Who was the nigga that gave them their first single that took them out of here? Drake. For both of them. <laughs> Versace <laughs> with goddamn Migos and goddamn the one shit that he had with Lil Baby when he uh featured on that motherfucker. They I think it was called Yes or something like that. But yeah. the nigga. He took him out. He took him out of here, and that's why I said he he doesn't have an error. He's one of them people like you could throw up there with Drake. On top of that, did he just say he was yes, indeed? Shit, I forgot about. Did it. he just put him in his top five of all time? Man, did he top five changes every fucking every month though? You think about it. You think about the people that's in Diddy. That's got to be in Diddy top five. Automatic Jay, Jay, and fucking uh Biggie. You got three spots left to put everybody in hip hop left, and you put Drake as one of them. That's big. That's just big to me. So his er- he doesn't have an error. He doesn't have an error to me. But hey, nah, he had he definitely had an error. To me, it won't that error because they tried to blend all that shit with that kid Cudi shit, and I don't. To me, that's an error. Nah, Kanye, Kanye I, is an error about- to me. From f- like 2011 to like 2015, bro, that was that was Drake. Hold on, 2011. Where was where was Wayne at during all this? I mean, that was pr- okay. Nigga maybe, eat, a eat, right? maybe a young money error there. Maybe a young money error there. Okay, I, you, I you give you that. Him eat, right? And I, I give you that. take that to go into the next topic we talking about. But see, Wayne, nah, because Wayne had from like 07 to like, bro. To now. This nigga Wayne run. Nah, nah, not this now. nigga Wayne nah, he... run never stopped, bro. It never stopped, bro, until he started doing that goop. Well, once he got locked up, after he got locked up, what happened? He had to go sit, do that time. Once he got out, Drake and, and the other person we about to talk about in a second took over hip-hop for the entire time. And yeah. he never really came back. He never really came back because he had to catch a whole nother wave that he had, but it was just like his people had already paved the way, so it was like it is what it is. Yeah, but the second person that kept Drake where he at is Nikki. Nigga, that's a hell of a oop, nigga. Anytime you uh, go to go do a track, I'm a ki- I got a confession. Everybody nigga, said. I still I still listen to Moment for Life like that shit new. Nigga, that shit is hard. <laughs> that shit is hard. And- I still listen to moment. I don't give a fuck how a nigga feel. Niggas, niggas might clown me. Niggas might joke with nigga. I still listen to moment. Like, like that shit new, bro. And that if shit, you understand, that music, shit make me you know. feel like I can go goddamn accomplish whatever. That's a, hey, look, look. That's that <laughs> feeling you get when you hear certain music. And I'll be like, man, niggas act like 